Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My boy Kyle here, and what a game we saw last night from the Lakers and the Warriors. Um, we're going to be talking about the NBA playing games, uh, the first set of NBA playing games, and um, just how they went, and then my predictions for the second set uh, tonight and tomorrow night. Uh, so leave a like and subscribe. You, know, you can follow me on Twitter at MudBloodCal, and let's go ahead and get into it. Um, so, uh, we started off Tuesday night with uh, the Hornets and the Pacers, and the Pacers just kind of ran all over the Hornets, um, who struggled without Gordon Hayward, really. Um, I was kind of disappointed to not get to see the Hornets in the playoffs, but um, this is kind of expected. Uh, Gordon Hayward, probably their best player. Um, although down the stretch, Terry Rozier was definitely with Gordon Hayward and Lamelo out. He was able to carry them for like for them to just even still be in this position. It's pretty impressive, um, but really good season for them. And uh, they'll go into the off season. Um, O'Shea Brissett, Doug McDermott, the forward pair uh, starting had fantastic games, and um, it everyone. Um, except Aaron Holiday, like third, one, two, three, like nine of their ten man, nine guys out of their ten man rotation had at least twelve points. Um, 14, 14, 17, 16, 12, 14, 12, 23, almost a triple double. Um, from Demontis Sabonis, uh, with twenty one rebounds, nine assists, and. 14 points, but the Pacers were just on another level. The Hornets just looked bad, and the Pacers looked really good. Um, moving on to the second game now, it was pretty close all in all, um, but Bradley Beal and Russell Westbrook just couldn't get it done. Too many injuries going on. Um, Gafford only playing 21 minutes didn't help, and uh, relying on Robin Lopez deep hooks was obviously not a good offensive strategy. 50 from Jason Tatum. Uh, got to see what we want out of Kemba. If they can keep this up, they might win a game or two against the Nets. Probably just one. I don't really see one more than two. Um, but I doubt they can. Um, but we'll see what the Celtics can do against the Nets. But yeah, Wizards got to have more weapons offensively. Uh, an injured Bradley Beal, who is honestly just grabbing his hamstring every time he is running back and forth across the floor. Um, the rebound numbers, he had 14 rebounds in the first half, 13. Um, I think the number was Russell didn't get on the boards the same way he did in the first half, um, in the second half. So that was poor, but, um, good win from the Celtics to advance to play the Nets. Uh, now we get into the Spurs versus Grizzlies, pretty back and forth. Uh, DeMar DeRozan. I know he had 20 points, but he, he's got to be better. Um, there's some people saying, I think I saw someone say he might go to the Wizards and that they think uh, Russell Westbrook, Bradley Beal, DeMar DeRozan pair or trio would work. I, I'd like to see that. Um, but I after this game, I don't know if he's going to be a spur next year. A uh, really good game for Moody Gay. Uh, triple double from DeJounte Murray somehow. Um, but this is like a really solid young core. Um, they've got the pieces. If they just keep progressing, keep getting better, uh, and sign, you know, some good veterans and maybe they'll get themselves a star somewhere down the line. Uh, this is a team that could be really competitive in two to three years. Um, but just wasn't able to do it this season. Um, and then we look at the Grizzlies who obviously picked up the win, um, Jonas Valanciunas and uh, Dylan Brooks really stepped up in this one. Jaw hit a couple threes, which if Jaw's hitting threes, man, it's over. But uh, Dylan Brooks um, is, was amazing defensively, and if you can get 24 out of him on the offensive end, um, that's a win-win. Uh, Jonas Valanciunas, 23 points, 23 rebounds. I think that's all that needs to be said. Um and now we're going to get into the game of the year candidate, really. Um, Warriors, Lakers, and this one was so back and forth. It looked like the Warriors had the jump on the Lakers early. 
Uh, you get into halftime, it's close. Lakers with a monster third quarter uh, to take the lead going early in the fourth, and uh, we're just the Warriors just couldn't quite keep up down the stretch. Um, but for the Warriors, 37 from Curry. But uh, the Lakers, who I believe LeBron, AD, and Dennis Schroeder were like 2 for 22 or something awful in the first half. Um, LeBron and AD really stepped up. Um, same with Schroeder, who had 12. Uh, but LeBron and AD, LeBron with 22, AD with 25, really had a decent second half. LeBron was just not good in this one, though. Um, we'll, we'll hope. He has to be better if they're going to win a series against the Suns, which will be really tough. I'm definitely going to do a uh, video talking about what I think will happen in that series. But um, I know LeBron got 22, 10, and 11 this game, but um, he, he's going to have to be better. Um, this was a poor performance. I know he said he was seeing three rims or whatever. I don't know if I buy that. But that three-point shot from LeBron, LeBron what was it, like 35 feet out, um, that was... That, that's what you got to do, and it, that that's just it. And you got it. If you can hit those shots, you're gonna win a game. And um, the Lakers were able to. Um, really good game from Andrew Wiggins. He stepped up quite a bit. Um, Toscano Anderson had a decent game. Poole hit a couple uh, really good threes down the stretch. Um, but all in all, this was enough for the Warriors, and uh, it was enough for the Lakers. So now the two more playing games. Um, Winner go home for the eight seed tonight. We've got Pacers and Wizards, and I think I'm going to go with the Wizards in this one. I I know they didn't look great. The Pacers are hot. The Wizards really aren't coming off that Celtics loss. Um, look to be having maybe some chemistry problems, but I'm going to go with the Wizards. I I don't know if the I don't think the Pacers will be as efficient offensively tonight. Um, and might struggle. Uh, so I'm going to go with the Wizards, I think, Russell Westbrook, and I, I don't know what to expect out of Bradley Beal. Um, he's probably going to be at 20, but is he really going to be able to be flying around the court the way he usually is? We'll see. Um, then tomorrow night, Grizzlies and Warriors, uh, John Morant, Steph Curry. Um, I think I'm going to go with the Warriors in this one. They beat the Grizzlies just a few nights ago, um, and they match up pretty well with the Grizzlies. I maybe if Jaw gets really hot, the Grizzlies will have a shot, but um, that rhymed. Um, but you're gonna need another 20 game out of Jonas Valanciunas to do it um, against a small ball Warriors team, which is very possible. He's probably gonna dominate the boards. Um, but I'm gonna go with the Warriors. Uh, that'll be it for today. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. And